Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the Gurm Axe, which is a very interesting weapon. Now, this axe, it actually has a Great Axe moveset, but is still an Axe class weapon, and that can be, you know, kind of a turnoff for a lot of people, but because of that, there is actually something you can do with this weapon that is quite interesting. If you power stance it, well, good things happen, and you'll see that in just a couple of seconds. Getting started with this axe, it requires 28 strength and 6 dexterity. It has an A scaling in strength and an E in dexterity. The physical base damage of this weapon is 230, and the attack rating of this weapon is 597 with a ring of blades plus 2. So without the ring of blades, that is a 4, or not a 4, but a 547. So that's pretty good, it's got a great X moveset as well as the great X damage output. The counter strength of the weapon is 110, the poise damage is 30 per hit, and the weight is 18 units. Now as you guys can see here, if you do power stance this weapon with another axe class weapon, you get to take advantage of the uh, swing speed that it gets from being power stanced. It is very, very damaging, it's an incredible combo and I've easily, when I'm not fighting someone so slippery, been able to hit someone for 1400 damage with just a single L2. So, uh, you really want to be careful if you see someone fighting with it like that. Now, that being said, I don't like using it that way too terribly much, just because it's, it's very predictable, really. If you start using it like that, people know that you're going to come in and try doing L2s, and, well, then you'll be easier to parry. And because I am fighting a bro with the fro right here, he is another uploader and streamer. If you are not familiar with him, go check him out. Um, he is very, very good at parrying, and, well, it wasn't really working out well in my favor, and we'll just leave it at that. So I figured going, you know, a more traditional approach would be better, and it was definitely. Now, with this weapon, I would have to say that the biggest pro of the weapon would probably be when power stanced, how it gains such an incredible speed boost and how it can be used to combo very well with other weapons in the axe class. There are some combos that you can do with this weapon when power stanced that involve that L2 that can easily, easily build up 23, 2400 damage, and I'm talking like guaranteed three to four hit combos, depending on the person's poise, of course. So, you know, it's it's a thing. It's a very scary weapon when power stanced, and when not power stanced, it has a pretty good moveset. I do enjoy the moveset of it when one-handed. The two-handed moveset, it, it, it's, uh, it's a little bit disappointing. It's short. That would be the biggest con of this weapon. It is fairly short. But, that being said, you can deal with it. You have to be somewhat close to the person in order to hit them due to the length of it, and that's not a horrible thing, especially if you are power stancing it, but when you're not, well, if you're fighting someone with a longer weapon, say, uh, another great axe, a uh, ultra great sword, a great sword, a lance, a halberd, that sort of stuff, you're going to have a little bit of difficulty fighting them. But, as I said, it is manageable. So, there's that. Another huge con of this weapon, I would definitely say, would be the fact that when you do attack with it, yes, you can aim manually with the left thumbstick, but you can only do that on the first swing. If you continue to swing more than once, you are locked into the direction and unable to turn. So that can cause quite a few problems, and, well, it's gotten me killed numerous times. And right there, that Forbidden Sun, I didn't actually expect it to clip me, but it is what it is. So... Uh, due to the fact that you are locked into directions after you swing and can't sort of turn with your opponent, that can leave you uh, very vulnerable and, well, considering the slow swing speed, which is also a decent con of the weapon, it's something that you really want to be careful of. I personally find this weapon a lot easier and better to use when power stance, which is of course why I keep saying good things about the power stance moveset. And my dog is barking, sorry if you can hear her barking. Uh, overall, it's a really fun weapon. I enjoyed using it quite a bit, and would really recommend trying it out if you have never done it. That being said, if you don't like the Great Axe class moveset, well, I can fully understand why you would avoid this thing. 
because it is, you know, using that moveset. So that pretty much sums up everything that I have to say. Um, there are, well, there is one fight left after this one. I was going to say there are two more fights, but, well, I guess that wouldn't necessarily be true right now, would it? As you can see, though, I am missing quite a few of my hits just by the person simply strafing off to the side a little bit, just because, I mean, it locks me in the direction. There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is, guys. Anyway, as I was saying, there is one fight left after this one. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful in one way or another. Please like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.